Hello, and welcome to Bill Klosniak News. Here to tell you everything you ever wanted to know about me, Bill Klosniak. For dinner tonight, I'm making SpaghettiOs. The weather today is medium. Sports, sports. Well, I don't have much hand-eye coordination, so I've decided to scratch sports from the Bill Klosniak News record. Anyway, here's an update from Miss Mitchell about the world of art. Miss Mitchell? Uh, okay, thank you, Bill. Hello friends, welcome to Quarantine Art with Miss Mitchell. I don't know if you saw, but on Saturday night, I was on the five o'clock news for these quarantine art videos and it was so cool and so exciting. I thought everyone deserves this wonderful feeling. And I decided, how could I share that wonderful feeling with you? We can make our very own newspapers. Whoa, Miss Mitchell News. There's a picture of me, a few of my favorite things. Of course, today's date. There's a picture of what I ate for breakfast this morning with a brief story. Let me show you how we're gonna do it. Okay, let me show you what you're gonna need for this project. I'm a crazy art teacher, so I actually have newsprint paper, but if you don't have that, a piece of white paper works just fine. Or another fun option is to use the real newspaper and then just draw your own images and text and glue them right on. That way it has the same look and same texture, but with your images. And you'll also need a pencil and a Sharpie, pencil to draw out all of your pictures and text first, and then Sharpie to outline. And you might want color pencils or markers or crayons or whatever you choose to color with. Uh, a ruler or something else with a straight edge will help you draw all of the boxes for your pictures. And then if you choose to do the option of adding your own text and images to a regular newspaper, then you'll need white paper, scissors, and some glue. I started making my newspaper by folding my paper in half two times, first vertically and then horizontally so that it kind of unfolds like a real newspaper and has several different pages that you can add detail to. And then decide which page is gonna be your cover and this is where you want to add all the action. If you look at the real newspaper, it pretty much always has like a big bold headline up here with the title. Um, this is a good chance to look back on our episode uh, of bubbleizing and blockifying letters. That helps your headlines really pop out. They usually have the forecast and the date and a few little details here at the top. And then it all opens up into some intriguing pictures and some text and some more headlines, really kind of mixing up size of text and the colors to keep it interesting. Okay, so to start my cover, I want it to really look as much like a real newspaper as possible. So I'm going to add my pop-in uh, title at the top with bubble letters. I'm just gonna separate a little area up here. I'm doing mine in Sharpie first just so you can see it, but if you wanna start with pencil and outline later, that's great too. This one was called the Miss Mitchell News. This one's gonna be called the Mitchell Gazette. Draw your big pop in letters, bubbleizing or blockifying. Lots of room for colors. Totally cool. And then I like to draw my squares and fill them in with pictures and color first. And then that way I have something to look at while I kind of write and describe it. This is a great project for kids who are at home learning and who need to work on their writing skills. They can combine writing with art. What could be better? So I'm gonna finish up my title real quick and then I'll show you how to draw some squares. Okay, did you notice that little last minute change? I was gonna call it the Mitchell Gazette, but I ran out of room, so now it's the Mitchell News. And uh, if you'll notice on the real newspaper, they have all different sizes of text and pictures and they mix them up and they go left and right and in the middle just to keep it really exciting. So I think we should do that. Um, it's fun to put a picture of you on the front page. This is actually a good time to go watch the cowpoke portraits video too. I show you the proper proportions of the face or you can just do more of a caricature you. That's fine too. So nice and poppin'. Let's do a big picture first. That'll be your face. And we wanna mix it up and keep it exciting. So we'll do a different size in a different area for our next square. Maybe down here, tall and skinny on the right. Oh yeah, this is looking pretty newspapery. And then you can also add those little details that help make it look like a real newspaper, like the date 
up here. I think it's April 27th, 2020. And maybe the temperature, I think it's about 50 degrees out at my house. Kind of dreary out. And then fill in your squares with whatever you want. Here it could be your portrait of you and then next to it, like I did some of my favorite things or something about your day. This is actually kind of a nice way to document what's happening in your life right now, almost like a diary. This is a very odd time that we're all in, so it's kind of nice to document some of that. And then down here, let's see, I think I'm gonna write a story about my little baby chicks. So maybe I'll draw a picture of them. They're growing up so fast. And write a little story about my chicks. Uh, if you're working with newspaper, just make sure that you don't erase too much. The, new, the newsprint kind of starts coming apart. And if you're using Sharpie, um, just be aware that it will probably bleed through a little bit. So you'll want, since you folded it in half two times, you should still have all this space inside. But your ink will probably sneak through there. When you go to write your stories, you, it's up to you if you want to use first person, which would be like, I went to the grocery store today, or my favorite food is sushi. Or you can write it as though a reporter is writing the story about you, like I did right here. Here's a picture of Miss Mitchell's breakfast this morning. She had a delightful egg Sammy. And then after you've written your stories, make sure you color your pictures, keep it really popping. And then it even would be kind of fun to send your newspaper to a friend and they can send you theirs. So you can keep up to date with the latest news. I think I like the second one even more than my original sample. So I'm going to keep working out a bunch of details and let you get to work. Well, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed being in the news. I told you the other day that I would be letting you know what days I'll be posting videos since I'm not doing it every single day anymore. And I've decided on Mondays and Fridays. That way we can start our week together and we can continue to do Kid Art of the Week on Fridays. Here's the joke of the day. Why do news reporters hang out in ice cream shops? Because they're always looking for a scoop. <laughs> I'll see you on Friday.